Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Pity Beats here from Pop Turn is me to Jocelyn Shelfo about Exo Kitty, which is dropping on Netflix worldwide May 18th. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. I feel like I'm on iCarly or something. <laughs> the countdown is pretty, pretty good. Like pretty crazy. I've interviewed um, Nathan Kress, who played Freddy, and Jerry Trainer, who's played um, Spencer before. No way. I know, because that was like one of my shows. That was like one of the shows that I grew up watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. No, I'm, I'm so excited to chat with you. I mean, it's just starting to kind of sink in that people are going to be able to see Exo Kitty. Like, it's coming up pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, all the stuff that they've been releasing and all the videos, it's crazy because I haven't seen the show yet. So that's my first time seeing everything. And it's crazy to see it be put all together. Ah. I know. It's so crazy. I'm curious what you could tell me about the audition process for this show. Because I yeah. feel like each audition for a project is different. Sometimes you know a lot. Sometimes you don't know a lot. Like, mm -hmm. did you audition for the character? Did you audition for Madison? Like, like, did you did you know a lot? Did you know it was Exo Kitty? Like, what did you know for your audition process? So I had worked with Jenny before. She's the okay. creator. I worked with her on the summer I turned pretty. And yes. I remember when we were rapping, she came up to me and she was like, oh, like, I have some friends who are doing projects or something. Like, I'll keep you in mind. And I was like, okay, sweet, tight. But like a couple months had gone by. And so I got the audition and it was from an LA casting director. And I, at the time, was with um, a smaller boutique agency. Yeah. So I had never auditioned for anything in LA. And I was like, oh. And then I saw Jenny's name and I was like, oh my gosh, I bet this is how I got this audition, but I read it. I was in my car and I like, when I got home, I read it and I just really enjoyed the character I read for Madison. Okay. Um, but she's just so funny and weird. And when I started <laughs> going through it, I was like, okay, I sent it in and I didn't really hear anything. And then they said that they wanted to do a callback with me, but a little birdie told me that I would, <laughs> I would need to speak Korean in the show. So she was like, mm, go learn some Kariri. And I was like, okay. And then um, I did another video audition and then a Zoom callback. But okay. the time of it was all pretty long. So I didn't know if I was going to book it or not. And then I booked it. And like two weeks later, they were like, you're out. You're out of here. Go to Korea. I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Intense. But. No, absolutely. Yeah. 11, 11 hour time difference. Which is yeah. pretty crazy. I, I honestly think, too, 11 hours... New Zealand and Australia, though, sometimes when I schedule interviews, they're, like, 16 hours ahead. That's, like, I'll do interviews at night. Yeah. And it's, like, morning there the next day. So I always joke around when I do interviews. I'm always, like, well, like, greetings from the future. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's the craziest part. Yeah, yeah. We did a couple table reads over Zoom, and they did it in Korea time. So I would be, like, on the Zoom at 1 a.m. in the morning doing the little table reads and stuff. But, yeah. I know. And it's pretty crazy because, you know, you and the cast are part of the To All The Boys universe because this is a spinoff spin mm -hmm. about Kitty and everything. And I do find that super interesting because anytime there's like a continuation or like a spinoff of something, I feel like it's always like a unique like opportunity for yourself at, like joining as Madison because there's familiar territory but at the same time there's unfamiliar territory because there is a little bit of that familiarity from the to all the boys universe and Kitty and everything and her family but then there's like we don't know Exo Kitty we don't know the characters we yeah. don't know Madison and everything did you think about that at all like I feel like that was kind of a cool thing right like you know stuff but at the same time you know nothing <laughs> honestly I don't think it really sunk in that I was a part of the show until I met Anna mm -hmm. because I remember watching to all the boys and Anna was my favorite character Anna who plays Kitty oh, yeah. was so funny <laughs> and stole every scene she was in she was so good and when I met her in person there was like a couple times where she would just channel Kitty energy like at some point I think she was doing skateboarding lessons for something in the show and she had a helmet on with like her little braids and I was like wait you're in the movies this is so <laughs> weird but it's it's interesting because I think the show is very different than the movies. Yes. Um, so never was I really like, oh my gosh. But I also don't think I really thought about it. 
Yeah, because you are part of the two all the boys universe, whether they're yeah. different or not. It's like the it's the same world, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is Definitely. it's fun because like you know uh, both the movies, but depending on where the like the writers and the showrunners go, it can be comp- like you said. It feels. I agree with you. Like I like the movie. I love the movie. I like the movies. I love the show. I love what they did. I loved the whole kind of board. Oh, I loved it. Well, that's good. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. And you do an amazing job as Madison. Thank you. You do such an amazing yeah. job. And like, this character is like the best. Like, <laughs> I love this character. Like, she she's was so, so funny. She's funny, oh. but she's so nice. Like, she's kind. Do you see that balance in the script that she's like goofy, like you said, and funny, but she's also a very kind, good friend? For sure. Yeah. I think, too, she's just kind of blunt. Like, yeah. I don't know, the character herself is so funny to me because she's so confident. And sometimes, like, you see her and you're like, girl. <laughs> but she just doesn't care. She just does her own thing. Because when we're talking about the movies, a conversation I had with the showrunners were, like, Madison's place in the story is kind of, in a way, like a foil to Kitty. Because in the movie, she's, like, this uber confident, like, just does her own thing is really successful and in the show you kind of see her struggle a little bit and yeah. like grapple with that and madison is like in her element she's like i'm in south korea i love k-pop this is so fun and so i think it was interesting to have that conversation and come into the show and be like okay i think this is where they want me to go with this knowing what kitty was like in the movies and i don't want to say much but like there's some really cool scenes like like the library scene like the breakfast club kind of scene that that was so much fun like oh so good like i love that you know what i mean um what was it like filming in korea and south korea like what was that whole experience like for you it was really cool yeah i'd never been to asia before and i remember like being on the flight going there it was like a 17 hour flight because we had to like go around some stuff and i sat on the plane like oh my gosh I'm I can't leave now like I'm I'm in I'm going um and it was it was kind of cool because we all stayed in the same hotel even the people that were from Korea Mm -hmm. and so we just got to become really wonderful friends and like do everything together and we got to go to some really cool locations Mm -hmm. um and the food there is so Oh, oh my man. gosh. That's I, I can't even and, and the thing is it's funny because when I watch the show, I I love going in fresh. And when you get things like in advance and everything, like you there's no trailers or anything. <laughs> so you go in and you watch <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. right? And like I we read a little bit about it and like the spin-off, but I didn't realize it had to do with Kitty going to Korea, going to that school. Like I had no idea. So I'm watching the episodes and I'm like, wait. Oh, they're going. They're going to Korea. Yeah. Like I was like cheering. I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But obviously, if you watch a trailer for it now, I mean, like you know, she, <laughs> she goes to Korea. But what was that like when the trailer came out? That was pretty cool, right? Like what that that was kind of like a like a reality that like sinking in that it's like coming up pretty soon, right? <laughs> yes. So it's so weird because again, <laughs> like, I don't. When you film a show, I feel like it's really per- like personal you're with all the people you're with the cast and you have all these big experiences and then a year, year later it's like okay but now the world is gonna see all of that and it's like oh but it was just our private thing for so long but I remember reading the scripts the first time I got them and being like oh, yeah. oh, like all the things that are happening and stuff so I hope people like it I think and the know. world you're, you're not wrong when you say the world because it's gonna be it's gonna be coming a worldwide on Netflix yeah and it's gonna and get it's gonna get crazy it's gonna be crazy it's gonna get crazy I think it's cool too because I don't know if they went in I don't know I think at the end of the day it's like half in Korean half in English yep. and I think that that's super super cool I, it's I I, I I can't even, I see online, like what part of the gig with Pop Turner running a media outlet, you see what's out there. I mean, people are so excited for this. So it's going to be like crazy. Um, Any fun onset or offset stories you can share? Is there anything specifically that was really funny or really cool that happened? That'd be a, a cool little, little sound by here for, for Pop Turner and Pop Turner. Honestly, Turnip. I don't know. I feel like, so COVID was still pretty bad when yeah. we went. Um, and so we couldn't do a lot. Like the yeah. COVID, like you guys have to like don't go out to eat. Like if you're gonna eat, be outside. Totally. So I think that was kind of it made it hard to like go explore and like do a lot of fun 
crazy things but I think as a group too we were pretty mild but like um the guy who plays Mino he would we had like our little group chat and he would text us and be like okay tea time and everyone like come down to his room and he would make us breakfast and tea and we would just like begin our day together and that was really fun and the hotel had a happy hour where they would serve hors d'oeuvres so we would always just go down there and like kick it but did it really I'm feel sorry so to report, we don't have any like wild stories. No, that's <laughs> awesome. No, that's amazing. Like the, I'll take that. That's awesome. Tea time. That's a great story. Tea time with the Casa Mexico key. I'll take that any day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the, you know, you were on the summer I turned pretty. That was pretty crazy. People just yeah. like that dropped and people were like obsessed with those characters. Yeah. Same thing's going to happen with this. Um, are you prepared a little bit because of your experience in Summer I Turned Pretty? I like, know it's a foul, it's a fair question because like yeah. Summer I Turned Pretty got crazy. Like it, it did. Was wild. I we I remember when that dropped, I woke up the next morning and I just had like so many notifications on Instagram because before that came out, I had like 300 followers. So I was like, yeah. and I don't really have a lot of followers now either, but uh, wait, was, wait wow. until, wait until after my 18th. <laughs> yeah. No, I think that's just crazy. I don't it's know. just weird. You just don't think about those. I feel like it's just what you're trying to say too, is you just don't think about those things, right? Like you go in and like you, you film the show and then yeah. like, you don't think about like all that kind of like the followers and everything and this and the, the popularity. You're just like, that's just me. Like I'm Jocelyn, right? That's, that's what yeah. you're saying. It's so great that you said that, man, like you, you said that, like, you feel like you're on iCarly. And then I just thought of so many kind of like, I want to go like now and just watch past episodes of iCarly. And like everything. Do you see the new, um, the new show that they made? I do. Yeah. It's awesome. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like, there was a show with like, um, Amanda Bynes and Jenny Garf called what I like about you. It reminds me of that. Mm -hmm. It was like, uh, like it was on like the, the CW. It was like a, like a sitcom, but like for older teens reminds me of that a little bit. Cause it's, it's for an old, it's it, the new one. It was supposed to be for like an older yeah. audience, yeah. which is awesome. Okay. Last question before we wrap up when, okay. so May 18th worldwide, People are going to meet Madison in Exo Kitty, and it's going to be crazy. When they get a chance to see the show, what are you hoping they'll get out of it, takeaway-wise? Like, besides just having a good time? Like, anything specifically? I think all the characters are pretty unique and mm. are struggling with something mm. in their own way. Like, a lot of things that you wouldn't really expect. And I think just knowing that you're not alone when yeah. you go to stuff like that, too. And just, I think... Um, the Asian representation is really cool and people are just who they are and I think that that's really cool yeah because everyone was from so many different places too they enjoy it yeah it's yeah absolutely May 18th worldwide on Netflix it's gonna be XO Kitty Justin so great chatting with you thank you so much for coming on Pop Canada thanks for having me appreciate it um absolutely um your Instagram account if they just put Jocelyn Shelfo they'll find it right I think so Okay. Because there's just a period in between, but Okay, so it's just Jocelyn dot shelfo on, yeah. on Instagram. Perfect. Also, this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash pop turn for previous episodes. You can of course catch Jocelyn Shelfo as Madison May 18th on Exo Kitty worldwide on Netflix. Until next time, it's Jocelyn and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.